yet. Ah! Where are we? Throwers. That's what we have to deal with here. Okay. Wait, I've... why am I heading there? I patently can't go there. I think what we need hey, to do Marcus, is... Hey, uh... Marcus. You want to warm up a bit? I've got Wait a till it sweeps left. Like sweep left, sweet flamethrower. Come forward to flambe my skin. Okay, you need to get over here, man. What? You didn't like the song? I thought that was pretty witty. Or, or you could either wait there and die. Okay. Am I in the right place? I think the idea is that if you just Ooh. rush through like this, <laughs> then you, you can mean switch like them off. So, oh. <laughs> so I do all the hard work, so you don't have to. Shut up. This is team effort. Okay. You know, oh, I hear some bad guys. I don't think it's. Uh... Is next to don't you agree? Oh, of course. Isn't that artful? That sounds like a real writing, won't it? It's so real and artful. Um, I don't yeah, think. Clean, can... Is cleanliness next to godliness for you, Regal? Not really. You can give a. Shit. You think you could be? Maybe they'll send you to the heavens. Ah. Raise you to them. Oh God! Ah! Okay, I think. Is that button there? I don't know. <laughs> I point to it in real life as if... Uh. All I know is that I'm going to dash out of here. Okay. Can I just hide here or...? Oh, now I can open this door and you can come through this way if you want. Uh. Oh, thank you. Wham bam, thank you ma'am. Um. I, I, th I think we're kind of getting a bit empty on the commentary here, so... There we go. Done. Oh. So, what are we going to talk about? We were going to talk about something, but um, I think after, after the last part, it's like we just felt suddenly felt a lot, much of magically felt, we're so good at this, we're awesome shit. And oh dear, there are wretches. Oh, is, is this the section where they just copy the idea from the last game, but disguise it as something else? You mean it was filled with nothing but wretches for that one part? No, no, the razor hair was basically the same as the bats from the last game. But... Oh my goodness, I never thought, right, why did I sound like that? Oh my goodness, I never would have thought. Regal, you magnificent. You Man. magnificent bastard, you! <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure at this that point that <laughs> some wretches burst out of you. So you're I'm, not I'm a magnificent bastard. Then you'd have to be Rommel Grub Grub. So I'm, yeah, knew it. So if you're using this as a walkthrough, there's an ambush at this point. Hey, don't joke, man. I have a, a friend of mine that he thinks wants to use DKC3 as a walkthrough. Why? We don't show all the bonus coins. It's rubbish. I mean, it's rubbish as a walkthrough. Oh, no, he said, get, no, he said, he, no, 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 not. Not DKC3. He said he wanted to use this as a walkthrough. Really? Yeah, you know him, right? Who? Uh, oh, you, you Timmy. Him, you, yeah, yeah, Timmy. He doesn't have a proper internet name. For some, yeah, like has a name, I guess. But is it just a fuckload of numbers? Yeah. It, how did you know? Because <laughs> that's what everyone uses as an internet name. If they I don't, don't, I really have, like, hate. Any, I really like, hate that. It's like you know what? I can't be. I can't be Super Gamer Five. Game Super Gamer, don't, uh, you know, I'll take my chance. I'll be Super Gamer 5823.5. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, pointless to have all that. We're Regal Grub Grub, Warmish Hot Tub. No silly numbers, it doesn't It doesn't imply, fuck this, it's not like this is important. Names are everything. Mm. And by Especially the way, Especially when they're stupid names like ours. This shit's getting uh, even weirder. Okay, this is a case of waiting for the uh, lasers to to sweep to a point wait, wait, where you can what's, run what's forward. What's getting weirder? The lasers or or uh, that we're in a weird kitchen or something? Or not Niles getting hissy? I don't know. Just the whole thing's pretty weird. Lots of moments where Dom and like what? Dom and Marcus snuggle up. Who huh? did you say the writer was for the game? Yeah. Um, in the first, in Gears of War one, written by Eric Nyland, this guy who wrote who wrote uh, the Halo novels, which I'm sure are great art. <laughs> Great reads and great art. I don't. I don't know, but instead, but the guy, the, the guy who wrote Gears of War Two was is this comic book writer. I forgot his name. I mentioned it in a previous part, in a sarcastic voice, as I'm, I'm, prob I'm sure. But it would see. But basically, it seems like they ditched Nyland and went with him because, like, one of the gear, the thing with Gears One, would you? The Gears One story was just there, really, for flavor, wouldn't you say? It yeah. wasn't intrusive. Whereas yeah. here, whereas here, they've made tried to make more of an effort with the whole Dom romantic storyline. Yeah. You're just gonna wait there till I switch him off. Is that your tactic? I'm kind. Yeah, I'm kind. I'm a pussy. Yeah. I'm a big pussy, but I'm not, because I'm. Is don't that, have any such organ. What the fuck stuff. is that thing doing? He wanted a. He was. He wanted a hug. And someone probably wrote a fanfic where that guy's. Just, he's an. He he wants to be everyone's friend. That wretch. His name is Wretchy the Wretch, and he has it off with Marcus because it's slash fiction. Wait, what? Okay. Something's gonna happen in what this. What do you think bit? Gears of War fan fiction is like? Because in Final Fantasy, you could like it's like every character having it off with every other character. 
Yeah. Like the first series of Torchwood. But, <laughs> but I mean, how would what about Gears fan fiction? It's, it's got to be something like, So, Anya, I saw you from across the table. Um, I was just wondering if you, um, wanted to go and go to a movie well, sometime. Well, some, some fan sure, fiction Marcus. Is, like Metroid fan fiction, for example, is like... Samus legit- getting it on with Ridley. Yeah, like Ridley. It's like Samus knew that Ridley was the one who killed her parents, but she couldn't. She couldn't. Uh, well, she wouldn't one... refuse, refuse to think that he was a total monster. And there was done recording. We're doing ah four minutes left. We can still there, be funny. There was a uh, there was like one fan fiction for Metroid that's um, about uh, m- uh, Samus and Ridley d- yeah. attending high school and like having a prom dance, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> some shit like that. I mean, fan you, fiction. I don't think it's nearly as awful as it is. It's as, well. The thing is, is that the really porny ones are really awful and smutty and just cringy. Whereas, you know, well, <laughs> you know, you know, you can purchase fan fiction, right? That's what the, what Halo novels are. It's it's fan fiction you're paying for, pretty much. But the thing is, like, because it's associated with a video game, it means that I'm not trusting of it as a narrative. <laughs> It doesn't matter how good, like Mass Effect. It wasn't there mm. like a Mass Effect. Novel. There was, yeah, yeah. I, I would say Mass Effect. Well, so mm. I don't want to read about those games. You want to play them? Yeah, it's like Star Wars um, <laughs> books that happen after like the end of Episode Six. <laughs> Did you? I remember talking to a, a friend of ours who was incensed that they crushed Chewbacca under a moon. Doesn't that sound like a hilarious image? Really? Yeah. But like Chewie, Chewie stays behind, gets crushed by a moon. It's like it, that in itself makes me think there's no way I'm going to read anything. The f- about yeah, the thing is, like they don't extra make extra Star Wars fiction. It's this thing. They don't make it matter. They don't make it matter is the problem. By the way, you just switched it on again. What? Oh, okay. By the way, if you didn't notice, I switched it off. All the wretches came in, switched it on, and then the turrets were helping us out. Oh, that was a pretty clever game thing to do, right? Yeah, that's a pretty thing game, thing clever thing game. And oh dear, well, what are you doing? You're just running straight into the lasers. Well, Regal, I'll get back to you on that. Uh, <laughs> that was completely retarded. <laughs> I wait here patiently to see the pattern. And wait I was until see. An I just saw the table lying there. For oh, you know, bad things happened here because there's a table they strap people onto. Or you could notice the fact that the game has been telling us that these lasers mean death and not run straight into them. Come on, Regal, don't give me the shit. Um, don't give me the shit, man. I've had a. It's. <laughs> you've had a hard life. Yeah. Is there going to be an opening here? Or do you have to try and like run through the middle? Just run like run like a coward. Run, go round this. Can side. I run? I'm no. going to just ask you for permission. Oh, the idea in that section is you d- just don't yeah. run. Right, you have to like go round the the edges. Okay, that is. The he's idea. got a few. He's got a few. Oh damn! What's that? What's that saying about edges and about how women can change men from slobs to part frobs? I have no idea. Oh, he's uh, got a few edges, but he's. Uh, He's Something. an edgy character. Yeah. Roll down the stairs. I'm a neck. And again. What? From the pendulum wars. Down what the fuck are these pendulum wars? Places. The pendulum wars are the wars that take place before Gears of War One takes place, which causes the coalition of ordered governments to happen. Oh, let me guess. There's a. This is what backstory. The, this is what the novel's based on, right? The fucking no. pendulum wars. No. Is there a Gears of War novel? Yes. Uh, actually, it was on Kotaku. It's about. Um, Dom and his brother. Uh, he had a brother. Yeah, like this you is think a, he like mentioned... in their pre-cog days, like uh-huh. they're fighting in a forest or something. I only read the blurb. I really, I wouldn't. Mu- they should do a novel where it's like the stories, the adventures of Dom and that one guy who appears in Gears One, when it's like, you know, it's like that random scene where Delta Team just walk through a street and all the guys just glare at them. You know the one? It's before, it's before, before the interminable. Oh, the, stra- the stranded. Yeah, guy. yeah, that stranded guy before the interminable driving sequence in that game. Yeah. Incidentally, we've still got the interminable driving sequence to come. I like the one. I like this the one in this game better, just because I like Arctic advi- environments. Think about it, man. Wait for I, the, see, uh... I see environments and games are always awesome for me. Did you notice how I said for me? So I clarified that it was just my opinion instead of forcing my words upon you. I care about you, I viewers. Did, yeah. Right. How do we get through this section? Is it another case of just run like the wind bullseye? We pray. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see any other way of doing it. Well, we Run didn't... like the wind, bullseye! Shit! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. That's... <laughs> Shit! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That, yeah, that is how you do it. You just Shit! <laughs> no, wait, sorry. I did that wrong. I messed it up. You meant to run, then you say shit. Oh, hang on. Ah, razor hail. 
It is basically just like okay, the and are we, are we getting to the end? Yep. Oh, that's it, guys. We'll see you next time for the razor hail, and we're going to call it part twenty-three. Yeah.